something that we do in after school. So to have these young people committed to be greater, to be better, to learn a skill where they can be accepted into specialized programs and gifted programs, this is what we're doing in the lives of young people in the community of Brownsville and its surrounding communities. And so when you see these young people up here, just think about the fact that they could be doing anything with their time, mm -hmm. but because of the leadership that we have with Victory in Music and Dance, they are committed to the arts. And we are so grateful for that. One of, one of our students, he, he was trained to audition for Susan B. McKinney High School. These are middle school students at PS 184 under the leadership of Ms. Linda Linder. And he was trained by Mr. Ronald Martin to audition. And he got accepted into Susan B. McKinney High School. And he's also auditioning for Brooklyn Academy School of the Arts today. And so this young man, he can choose which school that he can be a part of. But had it not been for our organization, this opportunity would not have been provided for him. So I want to thank all of you. I thank you, Councilmember Darlene Neely, for all of your support. And I ask that you encourage our young people, support our young people. When you see them, encourage them, because they are doing great things. And the, this is our future. So I thank you for your time. And Councilmember, we love you. We love you, we love you, we love you. We would not be able to do this without you. So when you see them, give them a hand. Tell them good job, because you know they, we don't see this enough. I'm pretty sure none of you knew that this was happening in Brownsville, right? right? <laughs> so we just want to thank you, and we ask for your continued support. Ronald Martin and Miss Mia Adams, thank you very much. Businesses will continue. The lack of employment and housing will continue. The lack and need for services for veterans of all race, of all service. I'm a Desert Storm Persian Gulf Arab vet. I served 10 years in the United States Army, transitioning from Schofield Barracks in Hawaii. I've served at the Information Systems Command Schofield Barracks in Hawaii, also at the Pentagon, also in Korea, also in Germany. So we have that. But after all of that, and after all of those good things and all of those accolades, when I came back here, I was homeless with three children under the age of five. I came back looking for housing, and of course, none of it was there. The only thing I was able to do was access housing, excuse me, access unemployment. And if you're not an honorably discharged veteran now, you won't even get that. So I was able to access that. The child care, the um, supports, and all the things that I had when I was in the military, they discontinued because I'm now a veteran. And as a veteran, the Department of Veteran Affairs, unless you are uh, retired or of some rank that they do not care for, your dependents are not able to go to the VA as readily as you are. So we had to look for other means to satisfy those things that were once very near and dear and close to us. So one day, I wound up at the EAU. I don't know, back then it was in 1994, and there was a place on the Grand Concourse, maybe mm -hmm. partnering mm -hmm. with our local churches, partnering with our public officials, partnering with our legislation, so that we make sure that the tragedy doesn't happen again. And if we're not careful in the months to come, it just might. So we have to be vigilant. Someone said to me, and I read it, that if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. Yeah. We have to take a more active role in the things that are pertaining to us. We don't do that enough. We have to. We have the Veterans Advisory Board. They meet with the mayor. They're at, at, they have changed. It is such a great thing. I sit on that Veterans Advisory Board as well. I also am a member of the National Association of Black Military Women, also the National Association of Black Veterans as well. And this advisory board is so crucial. And every month, under the new leadership of General, um, excuse me, Commissioner Sutton, things are changing. Uh, striking if you will. And uh, we're doing great. We're doing great things with veterans. The services that is rendered by Black Vet Black Social Justice, we render that too, but we're in a different area. We're in Park Slope, but we all got a network. If I'm short on something, don't know the knowledge, I go and get the knowledge. If they short on knowledge, need the knowledge, and I have knowledge, they get the knowledge. If we work together, that's what we best do when we're in the field. However, with that being said, um, Dory Miller is, um, he will always be remembered and revered 
and, and my community and my spirit and my, uh, my soul and the members that join my post will always uh, feel that uh, this is a man that has to be honored and revered and his legacy will go on. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know Dory Miller? He was a cook. A cook. He rose to the occasion. That's the problem. A lot of us don't raise to rise to the occasion. I just like when these chairs was here, they saw the youth needed, just step in. He started moving back. We gotta step, rise to the occasion. And I thank you for keeping his legacy alive. And without further ado, we're gonna do the medals now. Can every veteran Come at him. Left, left, right, left, 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 right, left. Hey, Will, right. Ready, hop. Set up. pipes and drums <laughs> playing amazing grace now um men are start going out we're just going to do closing remarks today marks 75 the 75th anniversary of the attack on pearl harbor we have come to reflect and pay tribute to all our veterans who lost, we lost and who lost their lives and those who sacrificed them to ensure our freedom. Today, we proudly honor our veterans, past and present, for all they have done and continue to do for our country. Let us all join in the celebration of service of these brave men and women who make up the United States of America.